A 5-4 to four vote passed the motion to have the Charleston County School District Board look over which sections of its policy manual should be moved and what should stay. Today, we're not saying this part of the policy manual is the board's and this part is the staff's. An earlier version of the proposal said that the superintendent would be able to make changes to district policy without going through the board first. This agenda item originally had language that led to misunderstanding of the intent of the item, and I want to apologize for that. The language of the item led some community members to become concerned about the superintendent having too much power. To address public concern regarding the proposed CCSD policy to separate the district policy manuals into two specific manuals. But during the meeting, board members said that the item was misunderstood and no one wanted a major shift in power. I want to make it clear that no one involved in this process had any intent to give up board responsibility. We do know the superintendent will be involved in the process. The first step of this review is the superintendent making recommendations to the board. Then the public will have a chance to review those changes. This is a link into that student outcomes governance that we're aiming towards and restructuring our governing practices. <laughs>